Hello everyone. In today's session, we will have some solved questions in network devices. We will have a simple recapture over network devices now. We have a lot of network devices: a repeater, hub, switch, bridge, router, multi-layer switch, routers, modem, firewall. A firewall is a security device, though. We will start the first question now. Question number one: Which of the following devices is a component of a PC? That connects PC to the networking device. It means there is a PC and there is a component in the PC. What is the name of the component in the PC that connects the PC to the networking device? Option A, bridge. Option B, hub. Option C, NIC card. And option D, gateway. Think of it. And the answer is option C, NIC card. Because hub, bridge, gateways are individual devices. Whereas NIC card is a component of a PC which is used to establish communication from that PC to the networking device. NIC stands for Network Interface Card. We will move on to question number two. Question number two: Which of the following devices that modulates digital signals into analog signals that can be transmitted over traditional telephone lines? Option A: Bridge. Option B: Hub. Option C: Switch. And option D: Modem. Take your time. Think of the answer and make a note of your answer. The answer to question number two is option D: modem, because modem can modulate and demodulate. In a traditional landline phone, we can send our digital information over the analog carrier signal from the sending side. The receiving side it demodulates. It means it takes the transmitted data from the analog carrier signal. We will move on to question number three now. Question number three. Which of the following devices that sends data from one network device and broadcasts the same to all devices regardless of their intended recipient? Option A: bridge. Option B: hub. Option C: switch. And option D: modem. Please make a note of your answer. The keyword here is it's broadcasting. It means when a sender sends the data, all the devices will be receiving the data. So which device does broadcasting? It's option B. Hub does broadcasting always. So the answer for question number three is hub. Question number four. In a network where security is a primary concern, which of the following devices can be recommended? Switch or hub? Take your time. Pause this video for a while if you need some time and think of the answer. The answer is switch because. Hub always does broadcasting. If a sender sends the data, all the computers will receive the data regardless of the intended recipient. Switch sends the data to the exact destination. It does unicasting, but Hub always does broadcasting. It gives room for the malicious person to take a copy of the data what is being sent from the sender to the receiver. Question number five. You being a network administrator, your client wants you to suggest either switch or hub to be used in a medium-sized network. Please note it is a medium-sized network. Which device will you recommend to such network? Option A: switch. Option B: hub. Option C: either A or B. Option D: neither A nor B. And the answer for this question is option A: switch, because it is a medium-sized network. Being a network administrator, we are not supposed to recommend hub for a medium-sized network. Why? Because a medium-sized network will always be flooded by hubs. Question number six: Which of the following network devices that connect two LAN segments of same protocol? Please note same protocol. Option A: Hub. Option B: Bridge. Option C: Repeater. And option D: Switch. Hub and switches are network device that is used to establish a local area network. But the question is, we want to connect two LAN segments. And repeater is a device that regenerates the signal of the same network. And the answer for question number six is option B: Bridge. Because bridge connects two LAN segments of same protocol. Question number seven: Which of the following network devices that can connect any two or more different network that has two or more different protocols? Option A: bridge. Option B: router. Option C: repeater. Option D: switch. And the answer for this question is B: router. Because bridge can connect two network of same protocols, but router can connect two or more network that has two or more different protocols. But repeater, it just regenerates and switch is used to establish a local area network that is a single local area network. Question number eight: Which of the following are OSI layer two network devices? It means layer two devices. 
ऑप्शन ये हब ऑप्शन बी ब्रिज ऑप्शन सी रिपीटर ऑप्शन डी स्विच सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एंड डी बिकॉज हब इज अ लेयर वन डिवाइस एंड रिपीटर इज ऑल्सो अ लेयर वन डिवाइस वेर एज ब्रिज एंड स्विच आर लेयर टू डिवाइस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नेटवर्क डिवाइस हैज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ अ ब्रिज एंड अ राउटर इट मीन्स वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड आउट द डिवाइस विच कैन एक्ट एस अ ब्रिज एज वेल एज अ राउटर ऑप्शन ये हब ऑप्शन बी ब्रिज ऑप्शन सी रिपीटर ऑप्शन डी ब्राउटर एंड द आंसर इज वेरी इजी इट इज ऑप्शन डी ब्राउटर बिकॉज ब्राउटर एज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ अ ब्रिज एज वेल एज अ राउटर सो इट कैन एक्ट एज अ लेयर टू ब्रिज एज वेल एज लेयर थ्री राउटर the last question is an analytical question think of it and answer the question question number 10 in the given network scenario this is the scenario how many different destination mac addresses can be noted in the frame in its journey from the source computer a to the destination computer b so there is a source computer and there is a destination computer when a frame or a packet is created from the source computer which has to reach the destination computer how many different destination mac addresses can be noted in the frame in its journey from the source to the destination please pause this video for a while think of this answer if you want help you can revisit our previous lecture titled addressing in networking it will give you some tips to solve this question we will have the answer now When a source computer creates a frame or a packet it uses this router's this interface as the destination MAC address the frame that is created by the source computer is going to use this interface MAC address this is MAC address number 1 when this frame is received by this router it removes the source and the destination MAC address and it puts this interface MAC address as the source MAC address and this interface MAC address as the destination MAC address So this router removes the MAC address and uses a new MAC address this interface MAC address as the source MAC address and this interface MAC address as the destination MAC address so we can note the second destination MAC address by this router when this frame is received by this router it sees this interface MAC address as the destination MAC address in it and this MAC address as the source MAC address in the frame that is received by this router it removes the source mac address and the destination mac address and it uses this interface mac address as the source mac address this computer's mac address as the destination mac address this router is making a change in the mac address which is the third mac address so the answer for this question from source computer a to the destination computer b we can note three destination mac addresses one is this interface mac address as the destination mac address Number 2 this is the destination mac address and number 3 this is the destination mac address so the answer for question number 10 is 3 i hope you enjoyed the session and thank you guys for watching